Hi, I'm Jessica Jones, Associate Editor of Government Technology Magazine. On April 20th, Governor Elliot Spitzer announced the appointment of Dr. Melody Mayberry Stewart as the New York State Chief Information Officer. Mayberry Stewart spoke recently about how CIOs must be change agents and challenge the status quo. As the Empire State's new CIO, Mayberry Stewart noted a few areas in which she can do just that. The governor wants to be more transparent, so mm -hmm. of course we want to have more information that's available to, our, to our, our citizens, businesses, as well as visitors to the state. So for instance, we looked at um, doing webcasts. So we now, all open meetings are posted on our, on our uh, website, on our calendar. You can go in and get a very good sense of how government is working, getting to know who the leaders are and what the challenges are and the deliberations at the table. So that's where you can have technology to certainly bring the government into the homes of those that, that we serve. Uh, in terms of other ways, we know that our other major challenge is the modernization of our systems, whether it's our financial systems or our human services systems. Mayberry Stewart said it's important that she know what various department commissioners in the state want to achieve. She spends a fair amount of time trying to understand their goals, their visions, what they want to accomplish, and what success means to them. From that stems how technology can contribute to achieving their business goals. With our financial management systems, we have some 200 little ones throughout the state, but now we're going to have one statewide one. Mm -hmm. Well, you start to challenge, why do we have so many different ones? And we know it's inefficient. So you start to ask those questions because at the same time you're learning, you're being a student, and you're trying to take a global view or an enterprise view of where are the opportunities for us to be more effective. Mm -hmm. How can we integrate the sharing of information across agencies that do have a lot of information that they do share between themselves? Why not have a single system mm -hmm. that affords that to happen? So that's where you start to challenge. How do we procure systems in the past? Can we procure them better today? Mm -hmm. Can we create better collaborations between agencies? Can we create uh, technology solutions where that information is not just shared, but it's integrated and they're actually using the same technology platforms? Yeah. So you start to challenge the old thinking mm -hmm. to try to get them to think new ways of trying to implement systems. Mayberry Stewart noted that part of the CIO's role is to, in essence, become business partners with the various agencies. Not only are they a CIO's colleagues, they're also the CIO's peers as well as the CIO's customers. The CIO must balance all of those things in being strategic with them, and technology plays a vital role in this. The state spends a significant amount on technology each year. We cannot run the, the business of the state without having good technology systems. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, and in the uh, Spitzer cabinet, we have commissioners that understand the value of IT. For GTTV, I'm Jessica Jones.